Hi, Tom Brown here, another episode of Gates of Graceland, this time inside the mansion, inside one of the rooms that you see on the first floor, and to uh, tell us more about where we are and why we're here, because I don't know, it's Director of Archives Angie Marchese. Hi there, Angie. Hi, Tom. Welcome to Gladys' room. Thank you, and I'm in my socks. We're not walking on the carpet in and the shoes. And we've got our gloves we've on. You know what gloves. that means. Uh, that means we're going to get to see something special, special, and <laughs> it's very exciting because um, I, I kind of looked over there, and it looks a little different than it does on the tours. I took the plexi down for us. Oh, when we come in yes. and we're outside looking in to our right at Gladys's uh, closet, um, there's plexiglass up, and that's now gone. So I have a feeling, are we going to go see what's inside? We're going to go get a closer look at what's Ooh, inside let's, there. Let's see. Okay, take yeah, us Yeah, so I um, wanted to talk a lot about Elvis's mom this trip around, okay. you know, because she is such an important person in Elvis's life. Yeah, it was so special. Yeah. I mean, in fact, this would have been the master bedroom at Graceland when Elvis bought the house. Mm -hmm. And he let his parents use it, and Gladys decorated it in her favorite color of purple and also mm -hmm. helped decorate the bathroom with a poodle wallpaper. I love that. That's just so of the 50s and has... It's it's whimsical, mm -hmm. as they would say, and fun. And fun. And, and just the, the tile and everything in there just... Uh it really is personalized. Yes, yeah, so yeah. this was really his mom's space. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, she only had a chance to live here for a year before passing, yeah, but this yeah. room has always had a very special place in Elvis's heart because it mm -hmm. was his mom's room. And here in the closet, we have yes. some of Gladys's belongings. And as we take a look at them, you can see how simple they are. And you can actually even see where she would repair her belongings oh instead gosh. of buying new dresses. She was always, even when Elvis became Elvis, she still was yeah. the simple girl from Mississippi who, you know, raised chickens in the backyard of Graceland and took care of her son. It's amazing. And, and they obviously had the money mm -hmm. for her to have that, and that was who she was. That was who she was. This is probably one of the nicest dresses that we have here. But again, you can still see how it's very well worn. Yeah. Bleach spots and all. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then we have her shoes up here. Oh, look at that. Little wedges. Yeah. Again, very well worn. Yeah. And nothing very elaborate or expensive. Mm-hmm. So special for Elvis to have kept this. Oh, look at that. And then her purses, her little dainty purses. Oh. And a lot of these, when we found all of this stuff in the attic, it was still stuffed with wallets and belongings. In fact, in one of the purses, we found Elvis's wallet from 57, as well as a Vernon wallet, mm. was in her purse. Wow. So, and, and so these were up in the attic, just like moved it out, and I'm sure, and then, you know, Dodger moved in, and mm -hmm. Elvis's grandmother moved into this room. Yeah, I mean, after her passing, um, Elvis really went to Germany. So he was mm -hmm. gone for 18 months. And on strict orders, this room was not to be touched. So when he came home from Germany, Gladys's belongings were all still here. Everything was just the way he left it, just the way she left it. Yeah. yeah. And it wasn't until 62 that the room was actually packed up and put in storage. And the reason why we know that is because when we unpacked it, everything was wrapped in 1962 newspaper. Wow. Sometimes your job's really easy. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you can <laughs> what figure year did out. Do this? You know, uh, really, 1962. Just, that must yeah. have been a difficult time, you know, for him to finally say it's time. It's to, time to. It's time to, to put, put her stuff, stuff up. Away. But this is actually a really cute oh, purse. This is my favorite. Gladys S. Presley. Gladys Smith Presley. Yes. Mm -hmm. My Monogrammed. Goodness. That's actually a very kind of a hip. It's very kind of nice thing. purse. Yeah, that's like really yes. nice. I think the thing that amazes me the most is all of these dresses, and look at this one. They're so well worn. Mm -hmm. Very I mean, well worn. Yeah. You know, she never took anything for granted. Yeah. At I all. I think there's a bit of that in what you've told me before about Vernon keeping furniture and lamps, and you keep that because you don't know one day what's going to happen. Exactly. And you may you may want to have that because. There was no guarantee that any of this was going to last. Not um, at all. And so they kept and they reused and they repaired and they, you know, never really let all the fame and money go to their head, even yeah. though Elvis, that, what Elvis did was to take care of his parents. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's the first thing he did. He bought, he he bought, bought Graceland. The, bought the house for the parents yep. and anything they wanted. And this is what she wanted. And this is what she wanted. Yeah. Yep. And, but you know what? We also have a new exhibit here at Graceland that I just opened. I want to show you, and we're going to learn a little Ooh. bit more about Gladys. So 
we're, we're somewhere that you'd never be able to see on the Here tour, in the closet, uh, To be yes. able to look at these clothes up close. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for, for opening the, the closet for us and let us looking at it go. Gladys is a very important part of Graceland history, like you said, even only for that year. Mm -hmm. Such an important part of Elvis' story. So and Elvis's life. We get to know a little bit about her mm -hmm. by, by what she wore. All yeah. right, a new exhibit. A new exhibit. Let's new go things, see. New things at Graceland New things at Graceland. So you recognize right. the building. I, we've all been through the, the building. This, the trophy uh, the building. trophy room with yes. all the gold records, which are now over at the Elvis Presley Memphis in, in great display over there, including the records from the racquetball court. Exactly. So when we um, took on Elvis Presley's Memphis and moving Elvis's career story from the property across the street, we wanted to make the trophy building be more personal mm -hmm. and actually, you know, connect people more with who Elvis was, where he came from, and the family. Mm -hmm. And that's where Gladys comes in. So, welcome to Tupelo. Uh, yes, my hometown. <laughs> Your hometown. It, I feel at home here. <laughs> this is great. So, we've got the family, of course, Gladys, Elvis, and Vernon. Very famous picture, which is only about, like, like that. You've that seen the big. original I've in the seen archives. The original, yes. Yes. And so we the a lot of things that are on display in this room actually we have because Gladys saved them. They uh, moved they when they moved from Tupelo to Memphis and they had this old beat up steamer trunk. And in the trunk was Elvis's report cards, his first grade crayon box, you know, bills and receipts from Tupelo. And so it really gives us a plethora of stuff that kind of help tell the story yeah. and give you an insight of who they were. Yeah, and you've got yeah. uh, some of the Tupelo things at the Elvis Presley's Memphis, mm -hmm. but a lot. You said you're, you've moved in here to really tell the family story, which I think is great. And introduce you to who the family was. Because when you come to Graceland, you hear Gladys and Vernon and Lisa and Priscilla, but we never really got a chance to introduce them properly of yeah. who they were. So now you walk into the new trophy building, and we actually have a family tree. Oh, yeah, there they are. So, and not only do we have... Lisa and Priscilla and Elvis, but we've got Gladys and her mom, Octavia, also known mm -hmm. as Doll, because mm -hmm. she was pretty as a doll. Robert Smith, her dad. Mm -hmm. And then on this side, we have Vernon's family. We have Vernon, whose middle name was Elvis, which we yeah. now know where Elvis was named after. And yeah. then Jesse, his dad. And who, Jesse, who looks like every high school principal I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> and Minnie Mae. There, yes, there's Dodger. There's Dodger. So yeah, so you get a chance to see the family and hear their stories of where they grew up and all of it around Mississippi, not yeah. far from Tupelo, where yeah. Elvis was born. Gladys from Pontotoc, mm -hmm. uh, Vernon from Fulton, mm -hmm. and then Elvis and Jesse born in Tupelo. In Tupelo. You know? And so it's, it's an amazing concept that everything happened right in that little area, the family all, all right in that little area. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the things that's so important about what you do here is without saying it, it really shows you the roots of where they came from. Exactly. And the poverty that they lived in, because you've got tax records. Because they saved everything. Yeah. Um, this is actually a new addition to the collection. Um, we got this at the one of the latest Grace, Graceland auctions. Yeah. It's the original birth records of Elvis and Jesse's birth from Dr. Hunt's collection. So this is owned by someone else, mm -hmm. and you guys authenticate things, and, yes. you, and they have auctions at Graceland, and you, as director of archives... I actually have a number, and I bid, and I was the high bidder. Well, it should be here. And it should be here, and it has. it's a very special place here in the new trophy building, right here in the very beginning. Well, there it is. Elvis Aaron Presley. Yeah. And then some other things, like I mentioned, a lot of the things you see here on the wall cases were actually in that steamer trunk. Mm -hmm. And they're very much things that a mom would save. Mm -hmm. You know, like crayon boxes and the family Bible and Elvis's seventh grade report card. Oh, yes. Yeah. I went to that school. For the eighth grade, I was there in the eighth grade, not the same year. <laughs> I don't think my grades were that good, though, actually. Elvis was a very good student. He was a very good student. Yes. The legend is that he didn't do very well in music, though. That was in high school. That was in high school. That was yeah. in high school. Yeah. Yes. And in fact, the steamer trunk I keep mentioning mm -hmm. is right over here. So this is the trunk that all, a lot of the A lot oh, of the these personal things came items. from. We're in this trunk. Can you imagine this trunk and the stories it could tell? And where was this? Up in the attic? This was actually up in the attic, yeah. And when we opened it up, I mean, you see this old trunk and you open it up and then all of a sudden in there there's Vernon's painter pants and then there's Elvis's report cards and 
there's a flashlight and a piece of lace and little odds and end things and then you find their tax return from 47 yeah. and receipts for paying back loans and things like that actually even a receipt for buying buttermilk <laughs> at the local grocery um, this postcard here was in there and it's to Gladys from her brother Travis and I love it because it's like my dear sis I will drop you a card to say I'm okay hope you're still okay Gladys tell Cletus their other sister right, right. I never got anything from her don't know if she sent any or not well I will close for the present so answer real soon love Travis so that's on that postcard and it took days to get that information. And, from and, and Travis from, to Gladys. And from 38. So yes. Elvis is three, mm -hmm. approximately, when that, when that postcard is written. And look at this income tax return. This from one's from 47, which so it's the year before they moved to Memphis. And then 53, the year Elvis graduates high school. Yeah. Boy, did they not know what was coming. Not at all. The taxes probably got a little different about two or three years later. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And then we have a couple more belongings. These are the pants that were found in that steamer trunk. Uh, Vernon's work pants. Mm -hmm. yeah. Another one of Gladys's dresses and her jewelry box. You know, Elvis, as soon as he made it famous, he wanted to buy his mom everything. And as we already said, she was very simple. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to stick to her roots. So the jewelry, there's nothing really elaborate in there. You know, nothing really expensive. Um, a lot of it is costume jewelry. But you can see clip-on earrings, her wallet, as yeah. well as her ID card from when they lived at Lauderdale Courts. On, yeah, on Winchester Avenue. Yeah. It's so wonderful to just see a little bit of history of, of Gladys to find out a little bit more about her. And you really see a mom. Yeah, saving, saving her son's know, things. A mom saves the Crayola box. Yes. <laughs> from, mm -hmm. from grade school. Yes, you know? and the high school diploma, and the graduation tassel, yeah. and the little snapshots, the family photos. That's what a mom does, yeah. and that's what Gladys did. We always said that Tupelo may be 90 miles away, but it's also a world away from what Elvis achieved, you know, here in, in Memphis and at, at Graceland. And so it's really important to tell that To, to tell, tell the that story. Because yeah. I also believe that this grounded him. This made him the person he was because Elvis never forgot where he came from, mm -hmm. never forgot what his parents taught him. And he treated everyone with that respect that his mom and his dad instilled in him. Yeah, I've talked to so many people during Elvis week, done interviews with them, and they talked about how Yes, sir. No, sir. And they were like, Elvis, I'm younger than you. <laughs> yes. Why are you doing it? It's just the way he was raised. It's the way he was raised. And so being able to tell the story and being able to get an inside look at who Gladys was and who mm -hmm. the family was really gives us an inside look of who Elvis was. Yeah. So now they get to come here and experience a little bit of, of Tupelo. A little bit of Tupelo, yeah. a little bit of the family. So you get to a little bit more of the inside. Yeah. All new experience at Graceland uh, because of Angie and what they're doing here. Elvis Presley's Memphis, the new entertainment center complex across the street with all the different stories of Elvis's career. Mm -hmm. And now in the trophy room, where back in the 60s, I think he had slot cars. He had a slot car track he in had here slot first. Cars. A so gigantic slot car track. <laughs> I want to see that someday. I hope you have got that in the attic. We'll pull that out. But it's, it's great that you're utilizing this space to tell the Tupelo story. So a whole new experience on the Mansion Tour. Yes. All right. Thank you for joining us for Gates of Graceland. This has been an exciting episode looking at a little bit of the life of Gladys Presley and a little bit of the life uh, of the Presleys from Tupelo. Thanks for joining us. That's Angie Marchese, Director of Archives. That's Tom Brown. See you later. Bye.